The government has formed a committee to look at ways of equipping and modernizing Kenya's prisons, Kenya cottage industry. The committee will also look into ways of upscaling prisoners to help in production and manufacturing of world-class products. Correctional Services Principal Secretary Saloma Muyabuka says the state will receive modern machines in the next two months in an initial piloting phase. This is just but a taste of what Kenya's correctional cottage industries can produce. The government has developed a work plan that will ensure cottage industries play a pivotal role in the transformation of the country's economy. The actualization of the correction of facilities improvement plan has moved a step closer after the State Department for Industrialization and the State Department for Correctional Services established a common platform. We are playing our role in the bottom-up economic transformation agenda in uh, building Kenya by by manufacturing, the manufacturing component of the uh, bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Part of what we'll work on is uh, how to, we can partner, not in the short term, but in the long term, uh, so that we can support uh, upgrading. So we'll start here at the committee as an example. Speaking after a tour of production workshops at the country's committee maximum security prison, Industrialization PS Dr. Juma Mkwana says the collaboration is timely as the country depends the Buy Kenya, Build Kenya call. I came here together with a team from the Kenya Association of Manufacturers and uh, we have formed a team uh, between the State Department for Correctional Services and my State Department and of course uh, uh, the Kenya Prison Service. We want to encourage Kenyans to buy Kenya so that we can build Kenya. This is the only way we can create employment. This is the only way we can train our inmates, many of whom are long-term inmates. This is Buy Kenya, Build Kenya and uh, don't stop because our people get skills with this and with those skills we will get better and currently prisons are both training and corrective centers with prisoners looking to make use of their free time to gain skills in the various industries and schools within the prisons on their part the private sector is looking to update prisons products to match market needs to help drive uptake of what they term as a misunderstood kenyan product so even the level they're at right now with what they have is exceptionally impressive so we are now in 2023 we are going to 2030 soon, and there's so much we can share. The partnership here is meant to fill the linkages gap that is there between the private sector and the public sector. Alan Oko, Prime Edition.